Hello children today we are going to learn about some absolutely fascinating animals all these animals have something in common they all have six legs and three body parts yes we are going to talk about insects you see them crawl on leaves like grasshoppers and beetles up on tall trees like cicadas and moths flying through the air like dragonflies and mosquitoes and even in the ground like ants and dung beetles some come out at night like fireflies and crickets you can also find them in water like the water striders and pond skaters and some even in your homes like the house flies and bed bugs insects can be found practically everywhere on earth from the sands of hot deserts to cold snowy mountain streams insects live on every continent on earth including antarctica although they prefer to live in warm areas we are surrounded by insects in fact they are the largest group of animals found on the planet let's get to know them a little more nearly a million species have been identified thus far and scientists believe that there could be millions more just waiting to be discovered so nearly 85% of the animal kingdom is made up of insects just look at them they really do display a stunning diversity of colors and patterns like the beautiful spotted butterflies or ladybugs wasps to these gorgeous praying mantises Insects are invertebrates which means they do not have backbones in fact they do not have any bones at all instead they have a hard outer shell called an exoskeleton that gives them their structure their bodies are divided into three parts the head the thorax and the abdomen they have six legs that are connected to the thorax most insects also have a pair of antennae and wings From the moment they are born most insects undergo a series of body changes called metamorphosis When we look closely at the heads of insects like bees and dragonflies we see two eyes but on taking a closer look we can see that they have thousands of smaller eyes bundled together inside these Special eyes like these are called compound eyes Each tiny lens captures an individual image and the insect's brain puts all of these images together to get a bigger picture of its surroundings without having to move its eyes or head so they can see what's going on behind and in front of them all at the same time This is why it's difficult for us and their predators to catch them they are quick to fly or move away Secondly The super wide vision makes them excellent hunters. Some insects are herbivores and some are carnivores. Herbivores like grasshoppers and honeybees feed on plants and plant materials like nectar and pollen, whereas carnivores like damsel flies and robber flies eat other insects. We may call them creepy crawlies and scary. but insects are extremely useful to us they pollinate plants like the bumblebees and butterflies the ladybird beetle is known as the farmer's friend as it eats all pests and saves the crops tiny little ants turn and aerate the soil allowing water and oxygen to reach plant roots they sure do show us that size doesn't matter after all We hope you enjoyed watching this video. There are many insects to learn about in this series, so do keep watching.